Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another brand new figure that just got released this week at Target. Um, you would know that it's there because it's actually at the end cap, not necessarily at the shelf itself with the rest of the Jurassic World toys. This is the Beko Spanx Battle Roaring one from Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Also a subline of Epic Evolution. Pretty nice figure. This figure is actually pretty large. Um, I would compare it to the Allosaur we got earlier this year. Um, similar price point. But this one's painted pretty pretty nicely too, actually. Um, very faithful to the one in the show that we saw. There's a couple in the show, so this particular one looks like the one we got in the show. And the back of the box, it will show you that it has roaring sounds along with action feature with the little wheel. And these two guys we already seen earlier last week on my channel and here is the barcode if anyone needs it but yeah it's released at target currently um this week and most targets should already have it up so it's not quite online yet so let's open this one and check it out all right so first impression after we open up the figure i really enjoy it i like the size of this figure so far i love the deco I love how unique it looks, and also, believe it or not, this one is actually pretty proportioned body body wise, like feet and tail long enough. So let's take a look at a closer look at this guy. So this one, like I said, was featured in the Chaos Theory episode, a couple of episodes, uh, pretty prominent. So it's pretty cool. There's two different ones. Maybe they'll come out with the other deco. So. If we look closely at it, it looks almost like an iguana, honestly. The color, I love the color, is burgundy. And then have some brown. And then there's stripes. And then the texture on this one, like I said, it looks almost like an iguana. And I love that it's painted back here along with this. The jaw. And the teeth. It's a new teeth. I love it. I love that they went and made the teeth even more cleaner looking than before. Not just a glop. Um, my only gripe is the hand. I feel like it's a little too muscular. I feel like it could have been a little longer to be proportioned with the body. But it does have... So it has a cream on the neck and then under the jaw and then the brown still go down here all the way down and then there's a little bit here it doesn't necessarily go under the belly under the belly is still all green the forest green like the rest of the body but i love that look it's painted and it's two different shades so this one definitely got some extra deco money out of it and even the little toenails are painted so this dinosaur, um, pretty big. Like, let's compare it to Ben. And even a vehicle. I have a vehicle. So it's pretty big. Like I said, it's comparable to the um, Allosaurus that we got earlier this year. Nice figure. Um, and it's $34.99, but I got lucked out. It's on sale this week for $24 at Target. So I saved 10 bucks on it. So this one have two wheels on the back. I feel like this might be the first one that has two wheels. So both wheels work. So the first wheel, you press frontward. as a chomping action. But this one doesn't um, really let you stay in a, in a pose when you spin the wheel it, like the other dinosaurs when you spin the wheel it can actually stay like this but this one actually is goes right back down to the action so it doesn't really let you pose a certain way and then the back of the tail let's see okay so it does this and then the back of the tail this part the spikes comes out you see so you press the wheel back and it stays here. The tail doesn't have any type of action. It doesn't have a tail weapon action. But it's kind of weird. It sounds like it should. Like, sounds like there's a ratchet in there. Maybe for this particular action. 
But that's pretty cool. That part is cool because it can actually stay out. Spikes, because it looks pretty nicely with this. This one looks kind of like a ginormous version of Concavenator, which is a pretty cool dinosaur too. So this one, I was saying the proportion was better because the feet doesn't look as oversized. It looks proportioned to the dinosaur. But yeah, it's a pretty nice large size. So as I was saying earlier, compared to the Allosaur we got, another big figure that could have been in the same assortment. You can see Allosaur is a little longer, but they're just about the same thickness. And like I was telling you earlier, this one has two wheels versus this one have one wheel, like most dinosaurs. So this one also has that little spike in the back, but it's just a simple button versus the wheel. And both of these are featured pretty prominently on the Chaos Theory show. But like I said, like you can see here, the Allosaur, not quite proportioned. You got these giant feet, thick old legs. It just looks like different style. Like that one can be passed more like a dinosaur. This one's more like a cartoon character. And even the teeth. Is, is nice, nice. So that's that. And yeah, so I mean, I enjoy this dinosaur. I think it's a great one Mattel brought into the collection. I love the, the detail. Like, look at it. It's very much like almost like fabric. If you really look at, yeah, the skin. I love it. I love the texture of just the bumps and then the texture is very reptilian and i i like it uh, like i said it looks it reminds me of the concavenator and i which i love the concavenator so this dinosaur is available now at target um i don't feel like it's an exclusive it's a pretty prominent dinosaur um in season one and i believe he might be in there season two also for the show but oh here is the DNA code. You can scan him in now. So, yep. I would suggest you pick it up. I love the color. I feel like it's a good value for this one. Um, you can always wait for it to go on sale. I feel like Jurassic World stuff has been going on sale a lot lately. Um, Target is pushing in a huge way of actually supporting Chaos Theory. They have lots of exclusive stuff that you can't get at other retailers. So that's pretty cool. Um, besides Danger Pack, they still doesn't carry it. So that's, that's a whack part of it. Um, thank you for watching. I have a couple of things coming in a week or so. So keep watching. Thank you guys for watching and support. And I'll see you guys next time.